الحمد لله الذي من على عباده بمواسم الخيرات ليغفر لهم بذلك الذنوب ويكفر عنهم سيئات ويضاعف لهم بذلك الثواب ويرفع لهم درجات وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وزوجاته الطاهرات وعلى اصحابه او للهمم العاليات والتابعين ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم تبعث البريات اما بعد so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam used to inform his companions and give them the glad tidings of Ramadan before Ramadan came and the benefits and the rewards and mention things that would encourage them in their fasting and encourage them and remind them that fasting is an act of worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from one of the many ahadith a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which illustrates that for us and is an encouragement for us is the hadith where the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Ida kana awwal al-layla min shahr Ramadan saffa al-shayateen wa maraddatu al-jinn wa ghulqat abwab an-nar falam yafta minha babin وفحت وفتحت أبواب جنة فلم يغلق منها باب وينال منال كل ليل يا بغي الخير أقبل الحديث. So in this hadith of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that was collected in Tirmidhi, Ibn Majah, و Ibn Hibban و Hakim و قال صحيح على شرط شيخين. In this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave us glad tidings, and this was glad tidings for his companions, in order to encourage them during the blessed month of Ramadan. And he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, if the first night of Ramadan from the month of Ramadan, or during the first night of the month of Ramadan, the devils will be chained or shackled and the jinn will be repelled and the doors of the hellfire will be locked and there will not be any of them open any of the bab or doors of the hellfire will not be open and the doors of paradise will be opened and not a single one of those doors will be closed and then a caller will call every night and say oh you who desire good accept to the rest of the hadith meaning accept the good and accept this this glad month of ramadan a time of ibadah of great ibadah a time where we can come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a time in which we can have our sins forgiven and our reward increased and that is the purpose or the goal for us during the month of Ramadan as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمْ سِيَامَ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Allah the Almighty says in the Qur'an that it was written for you or prescribed for you. Fasting. Fasting was prescribed for you similar to, what, to the way that it was prescribed for those before you. And then He gave us the reason. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you would be God consciousness. God conscious or God fearing have taqwa and taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this entails fear, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment by staying away from those things he has prohibited 
and doing those things he has commanded in order to receive uh, reward and benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what the, the fasting encourages us to do. And a, a benefit, a worldly benefit of fasting, is it gives you a chance, it brings about a type of humility in you and a consciousness regarding the suffering and the difficulty for, uh, of those people who have less than you or who are less fortunate and who do not have a home and do, who do not have food and whose children are unfed not just during the month of Ramadan but all year round this gives you just a, an inkling of what they experience because in fact even our hunger pains during Ramadan generally aren't hunger pains they're just we may experience t fatigue we may become hungry but we don't experience what those people who are starving and are surviving through famine and so forth and who are less fortunate and who do not have the benefits that we have. So we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our fasting and bless us to be of those who are raised in darajat with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم